High School is looking into what they call a disturbing video taken by students. We know you have questions, so we are looking into the case today. The school sent a statement to parents saying it was taken off campus, and LMPD confirms that they are aware of the video and they are investigating. Like you, there's a lot that we still don't know. But Rose McBride has been working to get you information. Rose, what can you tell us about this video? Well, we want our viewers to know that we are working to get you information, but we also work to minimize harm. Our newsroom has had lengthy discussions about how to report this incident. Based on the information we do have confirmed, this scenario involves assault and minors. So in order to protect the victim, there is information that we cannot report. What we can tell you is, as part of the letter St. X sent to parents, the school said the actions depicted are in total opposition to our standards of behavior and community, which are to foster respect, honor, and service to God's world. I spoke with the VP of St. X today, Mike Littell. He told me St. X contacted LMPD as soon as they were made aware of this video, and the school is fully cooperating with the police investigation. Additionally, he confirmed counseling is available to any students at the school if they choose to seek it out. School is going to be in session until May 28th. Now, this video is filmed off campus, but according to the St. X student handbook, a student whose behavior outside of school jeopardizes the school's good name at the discretion of the administration is subject to disciplinary action that may include dismissal. Littell told me the school has taken action, but was not able to tell me what that action was. LNPD could not confirm any information either that they are other than that they're aware of the video, which depicted an assault and they're investigating. I asked him if, it, if a victim came forward and if they're moving forward with any charges and was told that they could not give me any more information. I also spoke with the prosecutor's office. So what if there's a video depicting an assault, but a victim doesn't come forward? Can charges still be filed in that case? Well, Director of Communications for the Jefferson County Prosecutor's Office, Jeff Cook, told me every situation is different, but there has to be some foundation to introduce the video into evidence. So that could mean a victim coming forward or a witness confirming details. We're going to continue to give you the information that we can, both to inform the public and to hold the parties involved responsible. Haley. Rose, thank you very much.